Make sure you attempt or reattempt the question first before listening on. In part A, we are asked to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic dipole moment, which is usually just called a magnetic moment of this current carrying circular wire loop. And in order to do that, we will apply this formula right here. The magnetic moment is symbolized by the Greek letter mu. And we can see that all we need to do is multiply the number of turns in the loop, capital N, by the current, I, by the area of the loop. Now, this is a circular loop, so for the area, we're gonna to have to use pi r squared. So why don't we adjust the formula by substituting in pi r squared for the area. And then it's simply a matter of plugging in the known values. This says that it is a loop, so that indicates the number of loops is just one, so capital N is one, multiplied by the current that is given as 2.6 amps, and then multiplied by pi times the radius, and the radius is given in centimeters. So make sure that you multiply that number by 10 to the negative two. That will convert it into meters. Also, don't forget to square it. So we'll just punch this into our calculators. And when we do so, we can see that the magnitude of the magnetic moment is approximately 0.184. And if we look at the units, we have amps and then we have meters squared. Remember, we squared the radius, so that ends up as meters squared. Therefore, we have amps times meters squared as the unit of the magnetic moment. That completes part A. We'll move on to part B, which asks us for the magnitude of the torque acting on the loop. And to make that calculation, we apply this formula here. We can see that the torque on a current carrying loop that is placed in a magnetic field is equal to the magnetic moment multiplied by the magnitude of the magnetic field and then multiplied by the sine of an angle. It's important to note that this angle must be measured between the magnetic moment vector and the magnetic field vector. Now, in this case, the angle is straightforward. It is given to us. It says that the loop's normal makes an angle of 41 degrees with a uniform magnetic field. The normal is actually the direction of mu. So basically the question is telling you that mu makes an angle of 41 degrees with the magnetic field. So that means theta is 41. We can simply now plug in the known values. We have the magnetic moment determined from part A of the question multiplied by the magnetic field strength that was given as 12 Tesla and then multiplied by the sine of 41 degrees. And when you work this out, you will end up with about 1.45. And then the units here are a little messy because you're multiplying amps meters squared by Tesla. But basically we might recall that for torque, the standard unit works out to be Newton meters. So this would be the correct answer to part B.